the this is actually the John face. So um, let me see here. I don't know if we can't return to the Nexus. Let's see if that that might take us back. Oh, good. Okay, good. Awesome. So that is actually the next two items, and then our third item is right over this direction and up here. And so you just come into the center of this and you just jump. Just, just keep jumping. It'll take a little while, but it'll eventually work. Now, I don't know who figured this out. If this was clued in by the programmers, like they gave a hint or something. Because I don't know who would just stand here and jump constantly all the time. I don't know, maybe somebody just got really, really bored. As you can see, it's taken a long time. Oh, there we go. And it opens this up. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, I thought I had this item. I guess not. Oh, I didn't open it, though. It's the black cube. I, I thought I had that item. I guess not. As you can see, I am missing one item, and that's on purpose. Alright, well, you just gotta see me get a cube item on, uh, huh, on screen. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and head off to, uh, what, I don't even know what item number we're on now. What, oh, the red cube, so item number 10. Alright, see you guys back at the Nexus. Alright, guys, we are back for item number 10. And we would actually have to go back to the debug area for our last item that we're gonna get, but um, well, that's that's later on down the list. So anyways, we're gonna go to the garden area, which is right after gate 36, and this is actually where you get the debug item. So we're gonna go ahead and go this direction, head right over here, let's go ahead and get the swap item. And there we go this right into here into this puzzle room and there's actually gates that surround this whole entire treasure chest so there's absolutely no way to get to it and so as you can see now there are, are clues throughout this game somewhere I, I'm not real sure exactly where they're at that tell you where to place each of these blocks so um, let me see here I know this one goes here this one goes diagonal from it uh, this one I believe goes and this one here, I believe it goes right here. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Wait a minute, is this it? No, that's not it. Uh, let's try. I don't know if it'll make the noise or not. Okay, that's actually, okay, that's the puzzle solution right there. I know, because I'm looking at a picture. That's the puzzle solution, and when you get that, these gates will go down. And you can get the, uh, which cube is it? The red cube from this. Alright. And off to the next cube, which I have yet to get, but I know where it's at. And I'll explain why I haven't gotten it when we get there. Alright, see you guys there. Alright guys, we are heading off to get the next item, which is what, um, number 11, I think? So, alright, in the forest area, this area kind of seems kind of pointless. We actually need to get out um, our broom. So I don't know. I guess there's one card in this area. And so we're going to go ahead and head this direction. Again, you need the swap item for this. Uh, let's check our map just real quick. Okay, actually, we can get off right here and go up. Now, I actually haven't got this item yet. I know where it's at. And we're not going to get it in this one either. And when we get there, I'll explain why. Kind of an annoying um, item to get, if you ask me. I don't know why they made it like this, but anyways, get the swap tool out, get past that rock, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this back out. Head this, this uh, head up, I believe, is it? No. So you do have to go this direction. There we go. Alright, so, okay, yeah, so we'll head up right here. And head over. Alright, right here in this, this area. I'm gonna kill these bats. So right here... Uh, 
just swap your way through. Oh, I guess I... Alright, so right here is the next... This is the green cube, and I have yet to get this. And the reason why, you see that rabbit over there in the left-hand corner? That rabbit takes about two... Uh, it, it moves incredibly slow, and you have to wait for it to do like a full circle for those gates to come down. And it seems like he's kind of moving at a steady pace right now, but he gets slower. And it takes like two hours, from what I understand, for him to make the full circle. So you have to basically just let your game sit here for two hours. And I just, I, I keep meaning to do this like before I go to work or before I go to bed, and I just keep forgetting. And so that's the only reason why I have not got this treasure chest yet. But that is the green cube. Alright guys, and off to the next item. Alright guys, off to item number 12. So we're going to the beach area. And we're going to go this direction. This again is another item that is only available post-game. And now I know there's another way you can get to this item, but I cannot do it that way. So this is how I did it. Come over here. And we're just going to swap those out. You're going to come into the out-of-bounds area. And you're going to go south. Until you hit a glitchy area, and you, you'll know it when you see it. Oh, there we go. And I believe you're going to head over six screens. One, two, three, four, five, six. I believe this is it. So, alright, we're going to go ahead and head up here. Head, 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 head. Right in the right direction. Oh, right there. We got perfect. And you have to do it perfect because once you hit this area, you're stuck and you have to return to the nexus and try it over again. But right here, you actually get the blue cube, and which I can't believe anybody even found this. That is unbelievable because this is out in the middle of nowhere and there's literally, I mean, this, you would think to come out here and try to figure this out, but um, especially since you get stuck in the water and it makes, it, makes uh, trying to explore out here very annoying. Alright, off to our final item. Item number 13. Alright guys, off to our last and final item. So we're going to go here where the gate 36 is. I'm going to go this direction. And this, we're actually going to be using a glitch to get there. It makes it a little bit easier because it's in the debug area. This is the quickest way to the debug area. It bypasses gate 47 in case you are Wanting to, so I guess this item is actually available uh, during the game as well, but you know, typically it's not. So in this, we're going to use the pause uh, glitch, where you're going to fall down a hole, and right as you fall, before you respawn, you're going to hit the enter button, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, see how I did that? I'm going to go to return to Nexus, and when you do, it'll glitch you. Bam, the gate number 49. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and head to the debug area. We're going to save so we can get some help. We're going to go ahead and go to the widen, I guess. That's what we'll use. Doesn't really matter. And we're going to head back this direction. Now, these it seems kind of like this is a long way out there, but the path is pretty, um, pretty easy to follow to get to this next item. Again, you could use the wiggle method to get down there, but since we have the gates open, we're going to do it this way. So let me see. Alright, so down, right, down, down. Oops, down, right. I went left. Oh, no, come on. Oh. Down, right, down, down. Okay. Down, right, down, down. I'm going to go left. I'm multitude of times, like five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, I guess we don't have, really have much choice where we're going to go, huh? Yeah, so it seems like I wrote these directions out, and but it's a pretty straight path. There's really nowhere else to go. Yeah, there's nowhere else to go. Alright, and... So there we go. There's the treasure chest. You're just gonna make these... Well... 
I'm gonna make a series of not real difficult jumps. And then go up, come over. All right, there we go. And this is actually the white cube. And here's what all the items look like, minus the green cube for obvious reasons. But all right, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and make sure to check out my card video on how to get all uh, 50 cards. All right, and until next time.